The House of Representatives is expected to vote on the Inflation Reduction Act today. Experts say it'll be a game changer for millions of seniors on Medicare. Joining us today to talk about those benefits and all things Medicare, Catherine Sevier from the Generations Study Group and AARP, and Steve Edmonds from Alliance Insurance Services. Text us any questions you have about Medicare. The number is 336-379-5775, and you can get your question answered in real time. Now, first, the Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act on Sunday, and it is expected to hit the House floor soon. So my question, let's start with you, Steve, is um, how does this bill impact Medicare recipients? Well, it, it's going to impact them in, in probably uh, a couple of ways that's going to be big. Uh, one thing is going to be uh, a cap that would put on the out-of-pocket spending of most beneficiaries of $2,000. Uh, and now that cap is a lot more. Uh, the catastrophic level is now around 7,000. So uh, that's going to be huge. And also another part that, that could be a game changer to some people uh, that gets the low income subsidy, which is help that the government gives beneficiaries to pay for prescription drugs. Uh, that's also uh, going to be increased because they're, they're lowing they're lowering the federal poverty level on that a little bit, where mo more folks will be able to qualify for that. So a couple of things there, it's gonna be big. Catherine, it sounds like um, it is good news for people on Medicare, yes? No question, it is great news, and it's something that we've been working toward for a very long time. Um, I, my background is in nursing, and one of the things that I'm very excited about is the cap on insulin because people living with diabetes have to have their insulin every day. And when you have a limited income and you have to decide between food and insulin, sometimes people cut their doses down just to be able to do both. So the, the uh, cap on insulin prices to $35 a month is gonna make a big difference to probably about 3 million people that receive Medicare. Um, as you both know, um, when it passed the Senate over the weekend, it passed along party lines and uh, the vice president was the tie breaking vote on this. Why are Republicans against this bill or are they against the Medicare part of this bill? Steve, do you know? I, I really do not know the answer to that. Uh, the, the bill itself, as far as this Medicare uh, part, uh, will be good for Medicare beneficiaries. I mean, it will save them money. And, uh, you know, that's one thing that helps because when you're on fixed incomes, as Catherine mentioned, I mean, it really makes a difference uh, when, when drug prices can be lowered for a lot of these beneficiaries. Catherine, do you know why now, why, why are, is the federal government taking up the idea of making these changes to Medicare? Well, this has been one of those debates in Congress that's been going on for almost a decade. Um, and it really has, has centered around um, how much it costs or how much they gain. And so there's always this worry with these inflation fighting uh, reduction bills about it does it really make a difference. In this case, reducing the cost of drugs by um, allowing Medicare to do what the Department of Defense does, the VA does, and Medicaid already do, which is bill, bid the price of drugs, makes perfect sense. I mean, every other branch of the government that provides medical care already does what Medicare is now being freed up to do. If you read any article out there, um, especially the national articles talking about um, the bullet points of this, um, Steve, we often will hear about the price of insulin. Why is it that insulin is so expensive and has been so expensive? You know, that that is a good question. And I'm, I'm not sure I would know the answer to that, but uh, you know, it is very expensive. And when you look at the number of people that have diabetic issues, uh, you can look at numbers on that throughout the last, say, five to 10 years. And that number just keeps going up and up. So it, it is an issue that faces, you know, I get millions of people. Uh, so, you know, that is one of those drugs that would be very helpful if prices could be kept in line. Catherine, would you agree? Absolutely. and. 
And I think one of the things we need to, to also realize, particularly with our aging population, is in North Carolina, about 50% of the people on Social Security today get more than 90% of their income from Social Security. So that means that we've got a lot of folks that are living close to the margins on monthly income. So managing the cost of pensions or how much we actually, they have to pay for their Medicaid part, Medicare Part B, or managing the cost of their drugs is gonna make a, a big difference to how they live their lives every day. Is it possible to predict, um, really Steve or Catherine, you know, if you, you put a cap on the price, the money's got to come from somewhere, right? Like the drug companies are going to get their money. How is that going to play out? Well, I think it's a bigger issue than just Medicare. It is an issue that we have to address about how we provide health care in this country. And drug pricing is a big piece of that. Um, the, the pharmaceutical industry is saying that it may impact the rapidity with which they do research for new drugs. Um, and we'll have to wait and see if that's the case and, and what that really means. Um, but we do know that, that the quality of life of people right now will be impacted because this bill has been passed and, and people will be able to get more or better health care than they have in the past. All right, Catherine Sevier, Steve Edmonds, one segment down, one more to go. We are talking all things Medicare today, so feel free to text your questions to us, 336-379-5775. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.